Okay, good morning everyone. We will continue with the yesterday's class. Okay, we have now dealt with Z parameter and Y parameter problems. The next one, H parameter. Okay, obtain the H parameter of the network shown below. So here you have the network. Of course, the port one, port two voltage and currents are not being marked. You have to mark it out. Okay. So if you see here, this is the circuit given. So please mark V1, I1, the port one voltages in current and V2 and I2, the port two voltages in current. Okay. So now H parameter, we already know it is going to be an hybrid parameter. So it is a combination of short circuit and open circuit. Okay. So first step, first case, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, short circuit port two. Okay. If you can see in the first diagram, Port 2 is short circuited, V2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, as V2 is equal to 0, we have to find out two, uh, two parameters, H11 and H21. Okay. Now, when V2 is equal to 0, now write the equation for V1. So, V1 will be equal to current into impedance or current into resistance. Okay. One minute. So if you see here, the three ohms is parallel to six ohms, okay? And both are in series with the resistance two ohms, okay? So we will write the equation as V1 is equal to two plus three parallel six into I1, okay? So the normal current into impedance or resistance, whatever you can take. So when I solve this, I'm getting this as 4i1. So you will get it as 3 parallel to 6. So first I solve 3 parallel to 6. So it will be 18 divided by 12. Okay. And then 2 plus 2 by 3, you will get as 4i1. Now we want to find H11. H11 is equal to V1 by I1. So rearranging this, you will get it as 4 ohms. Okay. Now the second parameter, what you're going to find is H21. So H21 is the relationship between the current I2 and current I1. Okay, so now uh, based on current division rule, we are going to write the equation. So find out the value for I2. Okay, now, now we already know as this port is short circuited, this V2 is equal to zero, the current will be in opposite direction. So we will have a minus I2. Okay, minus I2 into minus I2 is equal to the opposite resistance. Opposite resistance is 6 ohms. 6 ohms into the total current. Total current is I1. Okay. 6 into I1 divided by the total resistance in the loop that is going to be 6 plus 3. Okay. So you will get it as 2 by 3 I1. Okay. Am I audible, ma? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay. Okay. okay, okay. So minus I2 is equal to 2 by 3 I1. So rearranging this, you will get it as H21 is equal to minus 2 by 3. Okay. So we had completed two. Now case two. Case two, what you're going to do? You're going to open circuit port one. Okay. Always H parameter means short circuit port two and open circuit port one. So in the second uh, diagram, I1 is equal to zero. I1 is equal to zero means what? Open circuiting port one. So when I1 is equal to zero, this two ohms, there will be no current flowing through this two ohms. So you have to not consider this two ohm resistor. Okay. Now solve it out now. We wanted to find two parameters, H12 and H22. First, we will find out H12. H12 is what? V1 by V2. This formula we have already read from the tabulation. We know it already, right? So V1 is V1 by V2. Now find out the relationship between V1 by V2. Now, V1 is here, V2 is here, right? So, we have to definitely apply the voltage division rule. So, V1 is equal to its own resistance. Its own resistance is what? 6. 6 into the total voltage. Total voltage is V2 divided by 6 plus 3. This 2 ohms will not be considered as there is no current flow through this 2 ohm resistor. So, V1 is equal to 2 by 3 V2 on or rearranging V1 by V2 is equal to 2 by 3. So, this parameter also we are obtained. 
Now the last one, H22. H22 is equal to I2 by V2. So now I have to find out the relationship between this two. Okay. Now write the equation for V2. V2 is equal to. Now this both are going to be in series because this is not considered. This two ohms is not considered. Okay. So this is going to be a smaller circuit, right? So we can just uh, just say. One second. See, this is not considered. So, this is going to be a small circuit, right? So, you can write just voltage is equal to current into resistance. So, the current flowing is I2 and the resistance is 3 plus 6. They are going to be in series. So, I will just write it as 3 plus 6 into I2 or this will be 9 into I2. Rearranging, we will get it as H2 is equal to 1 by S. Yes. 1 by S. Yes. S yes is going to be the unit for admittance. Okay. Or you can write it as no also. Anything. Right. I hope this problem is clear. We will proceed to the next problem. Any doubt, I will clear it in the end of the class. Okay. Now, next problem. Find the parameter for the network shown in the following. Now, see always, now till now, we had seen problems with Okay, we had seen problems with independent sources. Okay, we had given here this problem is going to be dependent source. We are talking dependent source in the equivalent circuit, all right. So, one problem I had considered for, I wanted to explain you for the dependent sources. Okay. Now check this circuit. For this circuit, I have to find out the two port. Uh, I have to find out the H parameter for this two port network. Okay. We know the equation, H parameter equation, and we are going to find out all the uh, H values. Okay. H11 is equal to V1 by I1 at V2 is equal to 0. H12 is equal to V1 by V2 at I1 is equal to 0. And H21 is equal to I2 by I1. Condition is V2 is equal to 0. And H22 is equal to I2 by V2 at I1 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, first condition. First condition, I will short circuit port 2. Short circuiting port 2 means voltage at port 2 will be equal to 0. Okay. Now, the circuit has been redrawn like this. Okay. Now, for this, I have to find out uh, two parameters, H11 and H21. Okay. Now, we already know H11 is nothing but this equation, the relationship between V1 and I1. Okay. Now, before going, before finding the relationship between V1 and I1, write the KVL equation for this loop. Okay. So, for this loop, I'm going to write the first equation. Consider V1 is equal to 3 into I1 plus 4 into your two currents flows through this. 4 into I1 plus I2. Okay, both the currents are going to be in the same direction. So, we are considering I1 plus I2 plus 3I2. Okay, 3I2 is also the source. If I write it on the other side, I will write it as minus 3I2. I am writing it on the resistance voltage drop side. So, I am writing it as plus 3I2. Okay, now here, this side we have one more dependent source. This is one more dependent source. Okay, so and what is this source? This source is current source and this is a voltage source. Okay. Now this current source from this current source, I can write I2 is equal to 0 0.5 V1, right? I2 is equal to 0 0.5 V1 is the given data. They had already given in the problem. Now what I will do in the first equation, I will substitute wherever I2 is there, this value. Okay. So V1 is equal to 3 I1 plus 4 into I1 plus for this I2, I will substitute 0 0.5 V1, okay, plus 3 into I2. What is I2? 0 0.5 V1. Okay, so wherever I2 is there, I am trying to eliminate I2 and I am trying to put in terms of V1, okay, because what I wanted is the relationship between V1 and I1. So, I am converting everything. I should have either V1 or I1. All I2 should be replaced, okay. Now, simplifying, I am having V1 is equal to 7 I1 plus 2 V1 plus 1.5 V1, okay? Or rearranging this equation, I can get V1 by I1 is equal to 7 by minus 2.5 or this is going to be minus 2.8. So, H11 parameter, we had got it as minus 2.8, 
okay next next i have to find out h21 what is h21 h21 formula is i2 by i1 so rearrange the equation in however way you want it or whichever is easy you feel you have to find the find the relationship between i2 and i1 okay now see here we had found out from this equation v1 is equal v1 by i1 is equal to minus 2.8 or i can tell it as v1 is equal to minus 2.8 into i1 that's what has been written here okay from the first parameter we had got v1 is equal to minus 2.8 into i1 now i2 we already know what is i2 i2 is the given data here itself it has been given i2 is equal to 0.5 v1 okay so 0.5 v1 is equal to 0.5 into v1 minus 2.8 into i1 so i am just substituting here as minus 2.8 into i1 okay now simplify this you will get the value of i2 by i1 is equal to minus 1.4 okay what is this value this value is h21 h21 is minus 1.4 see when you get a dependent source in the problem you have to be resubstituting if it is a independent source there is no need of resubstituting in the problem you can just go as per kvl or kcl or current division rule or voltage division rule but when a dependent source is given there, there are some uh, uh, dependent sources it can it may depend on either port 2 values or port 1 values so you have to be resubstituting that value to get the final answer that's all difference between a dependent source and a independent source okay so now with this we had found out two parameters h11 and h21 we had found it out now next condition i1 is equal to 0 i1 is equal to 0 is what port 1 you are making it as open circuit okay so port 1 you are making it as open circuit means see the final this is the first circuit what has been given what was the first condition we took was v2 is equal to 0 when v2 is equal to 0 what will happen to this resistor this resistor will not be considered so only the circuit got reduced like this okay but when we are going to the second case the second case i1 is equal to 0 i1 is equal to 0 means now this one ohm resistance will be considered okay that is the difference now see here for this condition we are going to write the loop equation what is i2 now see we are making i1 is equal to zero so i am writing based on kirchhoff's current law whichever is comfortable you can write it no you choose you have to solve like this or you should not solve like that no conditions like that the thing here is if i wanted to find out h2 to value i have to find the relationship between i2 and v2 if I wanted to find out H12 value, I have to find the relationship between V1 and V2. It is not necessary that you have to find only this parameter first and the other parameter second. It is not at all like that. Whichever is easy for you, you can proceed with that. And whichever method you are comfortable, you can go. You can go by mesh analysis or node analysis. If you're going by node analysis, mesh analysis, I told you, right, the voltage and current should be substituted. The conditions what you assume, right? V2 is equal to 0 or I1 is equal to 0, that has to be substituted. Okay. Or else you can substitute the condition initially itself in the circuit, reduce the circuit, and then simplify it. So, whichever method you are uh, thorough, you can do, you can proceed with that. Okay. Now, for this, you see, we had made I1 is equal to 0. At this point, you write the equation. Okay. This is going to be node 2. Node 2. Okay. So, I2 is equal to I am writing now based on Kirchhoff's current law. I have told you all the methods of solving. Right in one one problem, I told you all the methods of solving. If you if you wanted to be more confident, you take that network and solve by the other method and check. Okay, so I2 is equal to V2 by 1. Okay, the current flowing here across this one, one ohm resistor is equal to V2 by 1. That has been written here. Plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 V1. Okay, this is going to be the current source. This is the current source. So directly the current has been given. So directly I'm writing it as I2 is equal to V2. V2 by 1 is going to be V2. V2 plus 0.5 V1. Okay. Now for the first, for this loop, write the equation. For this loop. Okay. Now see here, I1 is equal to 0 we have taken. So I1 is equal to 0 means there will not be any current flowing for this resistance 3 ohms resistance there is no current flowing through it okay so now v1 is equal to 4 into i2 okay 4 into i2 what is i2 now i2 is equal to 0 0.5 v1 so i have written directly 4 into 0 0.5 v1 plus 3 into i2 okay the same way if i write this 3 i2 here i will write it as minus but i am writing in the voltage drop side so i am writing as plus 3 i2 you solve by 
your own method and check whether you are getting the same answer. Okay. Now simplifying this, I can get. I will get v one minus two v one is equal to three i two or minus v one is equal to three i two. Okay. Now what is h two to i two by v two? Now only i two I have got, v two I have not got. Now keep on re-substituting again. Okay. Now i two is equal to v two plus. Check this equation. Okay. I two is equal to v two. Plus zero point five into for v one. I am substituting this minus three i two. I am taking equation number e. Put equation number one. Okay. Substitute in equation number e. Okay. You are substituting equation number one and equation number e. Clear. So you will get i two is equal to v two minus zero point five into three into i two. Okay, now simplifying this, two point five i two is equal to v two, or i two by v two is equal to one by two point five. Okay, so we had got now the h two two value, h two two is equal to zero point four mu. Okay, you can write it as mu, or you can write it as yes anything. Okay, now the third parameter also we had got. Now the fourth one, what is fourth one? Fourth one, h one two you have to do. H one two means You have to find the value by v. You have to find the relationship between v one and v two. Okay. Now, v one and v two. See the first parameter. See if you are taking the condition in the condition for the first parameter alone, you have to work so much. You have to rearrange. You have to put this into that or substitute from there. Everything you have to do. But for the second one, you will get it very simply. For that, you don't simply don't blindly work out. Just first take what you have to find. Okay, you just think what relationship you have to find, and then keep re-substituting. Then you will get the answer. Okay, now see here, minus v one is equal to three into i two. We have taken first equation. Okay, I want a relationship between v one and v two, so I am taking v one equation. Okay, if v two equation is there, you can take v two and then substitute. I am having here v one equation, so I am taking here v one equation. V one is equal to three into i two. Now what is i two? I two is given. You should not substitute zero point five v one. Okay, but here here it changes, right? So v i two is equal to v two plus zero point five v one. So I will substitute this here. Okay, so minus v one is equal to three into. Hope you un you are understanding this. I am taking this equation, equation number one. I am taking in that I am substituting equation e. Okay, minus v one is equal to three into what is i two? I two is v two plus zero point five v one. So that has been substituted here. Okay, now simplifying this, this will be minus v one is equal to three v two plus one point five v one. And rearranging, I am getting v one by v two is equal to minus three by two point five, or v one by v two is equal to minus one point two. This is the last parameter. H one two is equal to minus one point two. Okay, this is clear. H parameter, you have to make v two is equal to zero and i one is equal to zero. One side we are going to uh, short circuit, the other side we are going to open circuit. Y para uh, see z parameter means z parameter is otherwise called as the impedance parameter. There you will always short circuit. Uh, sorry, there you will always open circuit. It is also called as the open circuit parameter. Okay. The next one is the Y parameter or the admittance parameter. There you will always open circuit, short circuit. Sorry, I think I have changed. It is also called as the short circuit parameters. But in H parameter, in hybrid parameters, one port you will open circuit, the other port you will short circuit. Okay. Next we will go on to the next problem. Next problem: find the A, B, C, D parameters for the network. Okay, A B C D parameters are otherwise called as the transmission parameter. Okay, in the transmission parameter, what happens? You will always deal with port two only. Port one you will not at all make it zero. Port two you will open circuit or port two you will short circuit. Okay, now find the A B C D parameters. A small network has been given, right? Now to determine A and C, you have to know the formula for A. A is equal to V one by two. And C is equal to I one by V two. Okay. Now first condition we are open circuiting the port two network. 
okay port to network opens a queuing means i2 is equal to 0 so when i2 is equal to 0 again see here v1 v2 is not been put you have to mark it this is v1 okay and this is v2 you have to mark up if it is a two port network okay and this is i2 that is very very important this is i2 i2 direction is like this and i1 direction is like this this is i1 and i2 okay now first we are making i2 is equal to 0 i2 is equal to 0 means what happens here you are going to consider the small circuit here no extra resistance is only one capacitance and one resistance is given okay now consider this circuit this is going to be a smaller circuit right this is the circuit what you are going to consider now v1 is equal to 4 minus j2 see you can convert this into yes and also do it yes to mine and also do it but there is no uh, necessity is not there because only one element is one element is capacitance okay and they had given for abcd parameters abcd parameters has been asked to find out so abcd parameters you can directly solve it out easily without any uh, problem if it is going to be y parameter or z parameter and if more uh, capacitances are given definitely you can go you have to go only for s plane okay so if i write here v1 is equal to 4 minus j2 into i1 i1 is going to be the port one current okay or what is v2 v2 is going to be the voltage across this four ohms right so i can write v2 is equal to 4 into i1 okay now i had got both v1 and v2 value both in terms of i1 i had got you have to get in terms of one parameter then only you can just cancel out and find out the answer okay so v1 is equal to uh, a is equal to v1 by v2 now what is v1 4 minus j2 into i1 and v2 is equal to 4 into i1 so cancelling this both this will be 1 minus j into 0.5 okay so a value we have got it clear going to c value c value is nothing but ratio of i1 and v2 you have to find the relation between i1 and v2 now what is v2 v2 we had already written 4 into i1 that is in terms of i1 so directly i will substitute and get the answer so when i substitute here i1 will get cancel 1 by 4 is equal to 0.5 0.25 okay so we had got a value and c value by substituting the first one okay now proceed for the second one in second one in second one the condition uh, second condition what you are going to take is v2 is equal to 0 v2 is equal to 0 means short circuiting the port 2 okay so when i am short circuiting port 2 what happens you have to write you have to find out the equation for b and d d is equal to minus i1 by i2 okay now uh, check your i2 and i1 is going to be opposite direction right so we will write it as i2 is equal to minus i1 okay or substituting your d value will be equal to 1 okay now what is v1 here v1 is equal to minus j2 i1 right v1 is equal to minus j2 i1 because here this is going to be short circuited this will not be considered okay so you will directly write v1 is equal to minus j2 i1 okay or what is minus i1 minus i1 is equal to i2 here so i will substitute here now find out b value b value is minus v1 by v v1 by i2 v1 is equal to j2 i2 okay and this is in terms of i2 so i2 will get cancelled and you will get it as minus 2 j ohms okay now a value b value c and d value whatever we had calculated we will substitute it here what is a A is one minus zero point five. One minus J is zero point five, and C is zero point two five. This has been written here, okay? And minus J two ohms. See, I have written the unit. It is not very necessary that you write the unit. Without the unit, also you can write it. Here, unit is necessary, okay? But when you are writing in matrix, you can omit it. Okay, minus J two ohms and one. Okay. Till this, any doubt you had got? till this any doubt you got
chat box is open if you if you wanted to ask any doubts you can ask it I had got some messages in the chat one minute. Okay, the ABCD parameter, I'll repeat once again. Okay. See here, uh, for this network, we are going to find out the ABCD parameter. Okay, now here, first condition, port 2 is open circuited. Port 2 open circuited means I2 is equal to 0. So when I2 is equal to zero, this is going to be a smaller network. Just write the expression for V1 and V2. Okay, V1 is equal to four minus J2. Here only one path of current is flowing. We are taking I2 is equal to zero. So I can take this as I1. Okay, four minus J2 into I1. That's what is written here. What is V2? V2 is equal to the voltage across this four ohm resistor. So four into I1. V2 is equal to four into I1. Now, what is A? A is ratio of V1 by V2. So, V1 I had got in terms of I1. V2 also we had got in terms of I1. So, if I substitute both, I, I can make I1, uh, I can uh, eliminate I1 and get the answer. So, this will be, sorry, this will be 1 minus J 0 0.5. Okay. Next, C value. C value is I1 by V2. I1 by V2 V2, we are already found out 4 into I1. So, substitute here, I1 will get cancelled and 1 by 4 is going to be 0.25. In the next condition, we are going to take, we are going to short circuit port 2. So, short circuit port 2 means V2 is equal to 0. So, V2 is equal to 0 is what? We have to find out parameter B and D. B is equal to minus V1 by I2 and D is equal to minus I1 by I2. Okay. Now, when V2 is equal to 0, this 4 ohms is connected in parallel. Okay. So, you can just neglect this. So, with this, I can write I2 is equal to minus I1. I2 is equal to minus I1. As the direction is going to be opposite, we are writing I2 is equal to minus I1. But uh, D value is minus I1 by I2. So, you will get the answer as plus 1. Okay. Next, V1 is equal to minus j2 into i1. This is the only element connected here. You don't consider this four ohms. This is the outer loop. Outer loop alone you have to consider. So, that, that is going to be minus j2 into i1. Now, what is that j2 into i2? For i1, I am substituting minus i1, I am substituting i2. So, I will get the answer as minus j2 i2. Now, b is equal to minus v1 by i2, right? v1 is equal to j2 i2, we had already found out here. So, I will substitute that here. Okay, divided by I2. This minus is B and D already as a minus in the in the derivation itself, right? That minus is carried forward. Okay, minus J2 I2 by I2. So, simplifying, I will get B is equal to minus 2J ohms. Okay, hope this problem is clear. Okay, now take down this problem, the next problem. Next problem, you have to find the ABCD parameter for this network. Try doing. I'll give you five minutes. Try doing. See, ABCD parameters are very easy for, for solving because you are going to put directly I2 is equal to 0 and V2 is equal to 0. I2 is equal to 0, find out the two parameter. V2 is equal to 0, find out the two parameter. Try solving. First put I2 is equal to 0. You can find out A and C values. Put I2 is equal to 0. Find out A and C values. First, take uh, 5 minutes. I'll give you 5 minutes. Time is 10, 8. 5 minutes, I'll give you.
my edge parameter problem i'll explain you wait we'll complete this and then edge parameter problem we'll explain wait make i2 is equal to 0 find out the value for a and c it is going to be a similar network only one four ohm resistance i had added that's all first solve it out we'll check out the answer Anyone has got the answer, you can post it. A and C value, if you've got, put it in the chat box. Some people have got it, very good. Others be trying. If you've completed the first two parameters, then you make V2 is equal to zero. Find out the other two parameters. Very good. Next. Fast, fast, hurry up. Draw the circuit and find out. You cannot uh, do without calculation. Draw it in, with a paper and pen and then find out. V2 is equal to zero means which will be eliminated. I, I2 is equal to zero means which will be eliminated. So you have to check that. If you see, this is a very simple circuit. If you are able to do for this only, when we go for a bigger circuit, it will be easy for you. Hurry up, hurry up. Only four or five people answers I had got. Others, please work out. Because everything seems to be easy, but when you work out, everything uh, will be tough. Out of 233, I'm getting only five answers. What is this? Uh, others are not working out. Please, fast. Hurry up, ma. So people have
right Okay. See here, first check your answers, ma. First, we are taking I two is equal to zero. Okay, so I two is equal to zero means the circuit changes like this. One second, pa. See, I two is equal to zero means the circuit changes like this. This four ohms, there is no current flow through this four ohms. Okay, so the circuit reduces like this. Now, what is C C is going to be ratio of I one by V two. I have to find out the ratio between I one and V two. Now, what is V two? V two is equal to ten into I one directly because this is a small circuit with two resistance. So, ten into I one. So, C value will be point one more, point one more, or point one s. Okay, now next I have to find out y. Y value is equal to v1 by v2. Now find out the relationship between v1 and v2. Okay, now what is v1? V1 is equal to 2 into i1. 2 into i1 is the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor plus this v2. Okay, you can write it as 10 into i2. Anything. You have to re-substitute and you have to find out the value for relationship between v1 and v2. Now. In this I one value, I am substituting here. What is I one? I one is equal to V two by ten from the first equation. So I will write it as V two by ten, or this is going to be six by five V two. Okay, V one is equal to six by five V two means V one by V two is equal to six by five or one by one point two. Okay, next next condition we are going to take V two is equal to zero. Okay, V two is equal to zero means what? Port two you are going to short circuit. So short circuiting, what happens? You have to find out D value and V value. D is equal to minus I one by I two. So you have to find the relationship between I one and I two. Now what is I two? Apply uh, current division rule. I two is equal to minus ten minus because this port is short circuited. Okay, minus ten by fourteen. Fourteen is nothing but ten plus four. Okay, ten plus four is the total resistance in the loop. Okay, according to current division rule, the current in the opposite branch that is going to be ten. Okay, into the total current. Total current is I one divided by the total resistance in the loop. Ten plus four that is fourteen. So minus ten by fourteen into I one, or it will be minus I one by I two. So that is equal to one point four. Okay, so we had got the value for we had got the value for D coordinate. Next, uh, B. I have to find out the value for minus V one by minus V one by I two. I have to find out the relationship between V one and I two. Now check here. V one is equal to the first equation. I am writing it as V one is equal to two into I one plus ten I one plus I two. Ten into I one plus I two. Okay. For this equation, for the first loop, I am writing the equation. So two I one plus ten into I one plus I two. I want it only B one and I two. So I should eliminate I one. Okay. So this will be twelve I one. B one is equal to twelve I one plus ten into I two. Okay. B one is equal to twelve into what is I one? I one is going to be fourteen by ten into I two minus fourteen by ten into I two plus ten into I two. Or simplifying this, we can get the value as six point eight. Okay. B is equal to minus B one by I two. That is equal to six point eight. Okay, so we had got all the A B C D parameters. I am just trying to substitute in the matrix and write it as T is equal to one point two six point eight zero point one one point four. Okay, with this we are completing the network problems. 
uh, you do you have any doubt h parameters you wanted me to take again right okay h parameters i will uh, tell you once again and then we will bind up this and we will go to the next topic find h parameter for the two port network i hope uh, you had asked this problem okay now as it is going to be hybrid parameter we will be open circuiting one port and we will be short circuiting the other port so h11 is equal to v1 by i1 at v2 is equal to 0 and h12 is equal to v1 by v2 at i1 is equal to 0 h21 is equal to i2 by i1 at v2 is equal to 0 and h22 is equal to i2 by v2 condition is i1 is equal to 0 so that all the conditions has been given for that condition only that expression is applicable so i will first make port 2 short circuit so port 2 short circuit means v2 is equal to 0 as this v2 is equal to 0 this resistance will not at all be considered okay v2 is equal to 0 means that one ohm resistance will be neglected completely So now for this, you write the loop equation, write the loop equation for the first loop. V1 is equal to 3 into I1 plus 4 into I1 plus I2 plus 3 into I2. This is going to be dependent source. If you consider that as a source, you can write it here also. V1 minus 3 I2, you can write it. I have written on the other side, so I had taken it as plus 3 I2. Now I2 value has been given here. I2 is equal to 0.5 V1 has been given. So wherever I2 is present, I will substitute it as 0.5 V1. Okay. So it will be when I substitute V1 is equal to 3 I1 plus 4 into I1 plus I2. I2 is 0.5 V1 plus 3 into for this I2, we will be substituting 0.5 V1. Okay. Or V1 is equal to 7 I1 plus 2 V1 plus 1.5 V1, okay? Or rearranging, we will get V1 by I1 is equal to 7 by minus 2.5 or minus 2.8. So that is the value for H11. Next, we have to find out H21 value. H21 is the ratio of I2 by I1, okay? So I2, already we know this expression. There, I2 is equal to 0 0.5 V1, we already know, right? There, I'm going to substitute, uh, in place of V1, I'm going to substitute this minus 2.8 into I1. So substitute this here, okay. So simplifying this, you will get I2 by I1 is equal to minus 1.4, okay. Next, open circuiting input port. Open circuiting input port is, you're going to take I1 is equal to zero. So I1 is equal to zero means, here you will not consider this three ohm resistor, okay. So the circuit reduces like this. Now for this, we will write the KCL equation. So KCL equation, I2 is equal to, I'm considering at this point, I2 is equal to V2 by 1, okay, plus, plus 0 0.5 into V1, okay. Or what is V1? V1 is equal to, for this loop, we can write 4 into 0 0.5 V1 plus 3 into I2, okay. Or V1 minus 2 V1 is equal to 3 I2. Simplifying, you will get minus V1 is equal to 3 into I2, okay. Or I can write it as I2 is equal to V2 minus 0 0.5 into 3i2. I'm just substituting the value. I'm just substituting the value in eighth equation. i2 is equal to v2 minus 0 0.5 into 3 into i2. Now simplifying this, I will get i2 by v2 is equal to 0 0.4. Okay. Ne next, next, I have to find out h12. So you have to find out the relationship between v1 and v2. Okay. v1 and v2 means what uh, v1 equation is here present. So here, in the place of I2, substitute this here. So V2 plus 0 0.5 V1. Okay, so simplifying this, you will get it as minus 2.5 V1 is equal to 3 into V2 or V1 by V2 is equal to minus 1.2. Okay, that's how you get H12 is equal to minus 1.2. Okay, so with this, we can, we complete the problems of the parameter networks. Okay, any doubts here? Anything has to be explained? Any doubts here? If chat box is open, you can uh, put it out, uh, put out your doubts there.
So as of now, we had seen what is a two port network. Okay, what are the different, uh, what are the four parameters and problems based on the parameters in the fourth unit. Okay, next we will be proceeding with the parameter conversion. Parameter conversion is Z parameter in terms of Y, H, A, B, C, D. We will be converting. So you have to be thorough with the all the four equations, eight equations you have to be thorough. Then only we can go in for the conversion. Okay. Z parameter will be converted in terms of the other four, three parameter, right? And Y parameter will be converted in terms of the other three parameter. Y parameter in terms of Z, H, A, B, C, D. And ABCD parameter in terms of Z, Y, and H. Okay. So like this, we will be converting. And H parameter in terms of Z, Y, and ABCD. Okay. So each will have three derivation. So four parameters, so 12 derivations. Small derivations, 12 derivations will be having. Okay. Please be thorough with the equations. Okay. In the next class, again, we will be having a I'll be asking you the equations and then only we can go for conversion. Okay. So please go through the equations and come. Any other doubts you have? Ma? After that, after the parameter conversion, we will be having cascaded networks. Cascaded networks is if two port networks are connected, say more than one two port, net, uh, two port networks are connected, they can be connected either in series uh, combination or parallel combination. So what we will have input input side one combination, output side one combination. So we can we will be having series series combination, series parallel combination, parallel series combination, and parallel parallel combination. So um, for this we will be having some derivations. Followed by that we will be having uh, T network, pi network, okay lattice network small networks, how to convert that into other networks. The application of this is nothing more. The two port networks say in some places, Z parameter we can calculate it easily. Calculate it easily means Z parameter is what? Open circuit parameter. So I can make open circuit easily. Uh, if I make the circuit open, I can make the calculations easy at that point of time. Okay. And at some places we can go in for short circuit, right? So, so only we go for conversions. Okay, in some places, is that parameter can be very useful. In some places, transmission parameter can be very useful. Okay, likewise, it depends. It depends. So only we will be uh, converting the network. Okay. Any other doubts you have? Any other doubts you have, Ma? See, try uh, preparing for the quiz also. Next, uh, in the next week, you will be having one more cohort quiz. Okay, so prepare for that also. Be ready for that also.
Yogaraj, you have not put your register number, ma. Enter with your register number, Yogaraj. Otherwise, we will not be getting attendance. Yogaraj, put your register number and then come inside. Rename it, okay? Yes, Sukanya. Yes, Sukanya. Sukanya has raised hand. You can unmute, unmute yourself and talk. Sukanya. Okay, pa. Okay, then we will continue in the next class. Okay, thank you.